So you said, free will is the sensation of making a choice. The sensation is real, but the choice seems illusory. Laws of physics determine the future. So. I had to say that. You, <laughs> you were compelled. It was determined from the Big Bang. What does physics have to say about free will? Well, it's not definite because we don't fully know the laws of physics, but the laws of physics that we currently have at our disposal have no opportunity for intercession by human will, right? I mean, we are a collection of particles governed by laws that you can write down and fit on a t-shirt, and those laws don't at any point in the evolution of the particles say, hey, can you like tell me now what to do, person? Mm -hmm. They just determine the future based upon what things were like in the past. But Brian, can't, can't there be an emergent property of that collection of molecules that we can call free will. Just hmm. because, because the emergent property, if, we under, if you know emergence, it's a feature of an ensemble that cannot be deduced by the study of the individual. Like ants. Like ants, you study one ant, you say, hi ant, you'll shake your hand, you have no idea that a thousand ants together are gonna make an ant mound. Right. Or a thousand termites make a termite mound. Right. Or that birds mm -hmm. will flock. You have no way to predict so the idea that. Is that one yeah. ant sounds like Woody Allen. <laughs> if, if free will doesn't Forget exist it. at the <laughs> level of, of physics, if, so the, in other words, if it doesn't exist at the level of physics, could it not exist at the level of biology it, it or say psychology? That's right. So, so it's a very good point, and it really depends on what your definition of free will is, right? Normally, the intuitive definition is things could have been different, and I could have made a choice for things to turn out differently. And if that's your definition of free will, does that resonate with your perspective of free will? Then I don't see any way to square that with the laws of physics because anything that you do is your particles executing some kind of motion and the motion of your particles in your brain, in your body, have no opportunity to allow you as a conscious being to direct them. What force could possibly that direction come from? Is it the electromagnetic force? Well, that one we understand from Maxwell. Is it the gravitational force? Mm, we understand that one from Einstein. Is it the nuclear forces? Those we understand from the standard model of particle physics. What force could you possibly exert on your particles that goes against or goes beyond those that emerge from the equations of physics? Could That's free, the issue. Could our free will thrive in the probabilistic description of quantum physics? No. <laughs> Not as we currently understand it. And, and that's a natural Don't place. make me fight you here yeah, on the stage. Well, we've done this before. Yeah, we did actually, yeah. I grabbed well, his lapel on yeah, stage once. But we both yeah. were wrestlers in high school. Different weight categories. Yeah, Definitely. very different <laughs> weight categories. Uh, but um, yeah. but uh, so, so it's, it's, I should have said it, it's possible, but I consider it highly unlikely. So, so there is a puzzle right now in quantum physics that has been on the table for 50, 75 years, and we don't know the answer to this puzzle. And that's why I have to couch my remarks with a little bit of uncertainty. And that puzzle is this. Quantum theory says that you can only pre predict the probability of one outcome or another, right? 50% chance electron here, 50% chance there. Yet when we measure the electron, we always find it either here or there, right? One or the other. So how do you go from the fuzzy probabilistic haze of many possibilities to the single definite reality that we all experience in everyday life? We still don't know how to bridge that gap. So within that, if consciousness somehow plays a role in picking out one outcome from the probabilistic haze, then sure, then free will might come well, for the ride as well. There you go. But, so but, but, you just, but, you but, just no, said... No, 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 no. You, no, no. you, <laughs> you just said... Probabilistically, the particle can be here or there. Yes. But if you measure it, it is only in one place. Yes. So my act of thought yeah. is I want to go, I'm, I want a cheeseburger. That's the particle in this state. And I'm going to say, I want a cheeseburger. Bam! The particle's there. Wait, let me, ah, see, wait, that's wait, the no, part no. I don't buy right there. You see, wait, because. Why are you poking wait, your okay. <laughs> Because it's random. There's nothing that you did to pick one outcome because you wanted it, because you willed it, because it was your desire. And yet your intuition is you had the cheeseburger because you chose it. If it comes from a random process, it's like throwing the dice. And throwing the dice to get an outcome is not what we mean by free will.